Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a short intro for this Minota AF Zoom 65. So this camera comes out comes out in the late 80s, should be 8, 80s period. So yep, this camera has a zoom range of 38 to 65. So 65 is a max, so it's considered as zoom 65. So this number represents the maximum of you can zoom lah. So for the model, 65 means it can zoom up to 65 mm. So this camera, the lens is um, is of f 4.5, if I'm not wrong, to f 7.2. So the aperture is kind of like small. So yep. So doesn't mean the small aperture doesn't mean it's uh, not good lah. Means that the image could can be sharper as well. So it have also um. If I'm not wrong, they will also have the ISO range from 50 all the way up to 1600 because this camera is a DX coder as well. So meaning that you don't have to actually put in your film and then to set the ISO on the camera itself because this camera has a memory function that detects the, the film speed you'll be using for it. So other than that, it has autofocus and it does have flash, which is a very important fac factor. And also, one thing that most camera users will need, and that is the tripod stand. Yep. So the tripod is actually pretty um, useful uh, for some occasions that when you want to do that self timer and all. Oh yeah, speaking of that, there's also a self timer function here. And other than that, the other cool features is that this camera uses one. 2R CR5 battery, so it will look something like this. Yep, I really recommend this getting this brand Panasonic because it's very lasting. It can last up to 36 shots, yeah, which I do use it before, so it's pretty good. So to open up the this battery cover, you can see it's kind of hard because it requires you a coin to actually put here and you slide through. But if your fingernail is strong enough, you actually can. So to put in this battery, you'll see this connection here, it'll be going inside. So the direction wise, it will be, okay, you can see there's a curvature here. Same with the battery, there's a curvature here, you just put it in. Then to turn on the camera, it's over here, you just slide it to your right. So when the camera turns on, you'll see the display here, zero. To that, the zoom is over here, so you just have to play this toggle, toggle to the right, you go zoom, toggle to the down, left, it goes in. So here, there's an indicator here to show how much you zoom in. And by the way, the zoom for this camera is really, really noisy. It's not really, really recommended. Let's say if you're going to like a museum to shoot discreetly, discreetly, and then there's this like this like weird zoom. Yeah, it's kind of annoying people. So other than that, the buttons here, this is for you to off the flash and this is for you to on the flash. So other than that, you see like your half press. If you see the red light means is you require flash. So if it has a green light, um, unfortunately my room is quite dark. Yeah, there will be a green light here. Means that uh, the big that means that you don't need to have flash lah when you there's a will be taken but you can actually manually off the flash as well so it means the red light means the image is dark so when the image is dark it requires you to on the flash if not you cannot take a photo but it actually can lah can still take the photo so yep here it goes, and then yeah, I show you how to when when the flash is taken, prepare for the flash. By the way, this camera, um, I also apologize because you need to have a good zoom range only. The camera will like will shoot, well like like will take photos lah. So that means is that it, if the object is too near, it cannot focus well. And sometimes you will have the issue like you couldn't capture the picture. So other than that, for film loading, the film door is here. You just press it down, open up. So if you see my previous video, 
the loading is very simple. So you just put in the firm in, you push all, you put the lead all the way up to here. It has auto reload as well as once you reach to the maximum of the film, you will auto rewind back. So there's a cool function of this camera as well. So other than that, this camera is lagging a dead function at the back as well as like some other features lah, like those kind of like um, you can zoom further and all this kind. Um, other than that would be like those have like those continuous shot and those kind of movement. So to off turn off this camera is simple. You just slide this slider to your left. The lens will close and then there you go. The camera is off. So thank you guys for watching this video. Give a thumbs up and remember to watch my previous videos, some of my videos. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon. Bye.